Welcome to the heart of the Skåne Research and Development Center here in Södertälje, Sweden. The birthplace of the strongest truck powertrain in the world, including the new 770 horsepower V8 along with the new after treatment and the fantastic gearbox. With this strong V8 engine, fuel consumption increases less than the transport capacity, so there will be a net efficiency gain that all parties benefit from. This engine has been equipped with a number of innovative technical solutions that makes it stand out in terms of power and efficiency. Well, Minus, this is a monster. What would you call this baby? What would you say is the connection between us? What, what is the most important parameter between the engine and the after treatment that really controls? That, that's definitely temperature, exhaust temperature. I agree, yeah. So especially with, the, with these new efficient engines, the, de the definition of an efficient engine is lower exhaust temperature, lower energy in, in the exhaust. And all catalysts, they need a certain temperature to be able to do their work, to reduce emissions. So by digging into this layout and adding the extra dosing unit, we managed to use these scarce temperature in a better way. Okay, so this is where the, let's say, action starts. If you're working with the exhaust treatment, exiting the turbocharger, here we have the first add blue injection on, on, in the first doser. That uh, dose is, is evaporated within this pipe. So would you say that this upper dosing unit is somewhat revolutionary in some sense? I wouldn't say that the dosing unit in itself is, is revolutionary. The, the revolutionary thing here is the in, inside of this muffler. And what would it look like if we popped the lid yeah. compared to, to what we've done before? What would you, yeah, well, what would we see? So this is where the exhaust from the V8 engine is entering the silencer. Uh, and the first catalyst in, in this line is then the, the upstream SCR catalyst. A small one being able to responsively reduce NOx, typically in cold start conditions. After flowing through the particulate filters where we uh, collect the soot and oxidize uh, the particulates, then we go into the second doser. And that dosing unit is located here. So that's how we've been able to minimize fuel consumption for cold start conditions and low load cycles. So by, by having those dual SCRs, the twin SCR system, we can use the temperature in a more efficient way. Did you yourself have the opportunity to, to, to try this new powertrain? Yes, uh, in multiple uh, climate tests, both in southern Spain and in, in, in the northern part of, parts of Sweden, uh, I've been privileged enough to, to to, to test drive the 770. What, and what would you say the, the, the characteristics of the 770 in the hills of, of southern Spain? Yeah, I, I'm an exhaust treatment guy, so I'm focusing on this box and I'm measuring emissions with a, with an, with a PEMS equipment. So I'm looking at the NOx levels, but taking that aside, it, it's really the driving exp experience. And, and you can really feel a difference. You have the sound, and then you also have this feeling of being, let's say, pushed up the hills rather than pulled in a, perhaps a smaller engine. So that, that's uh, something I, that's the best way I can describe it. One thing you notice is the really nice characteristic V8 sound from the 770. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm glad you notice it, Minus. It's one of the trademarks of Scania V8s, is the sound. We made changes to the exhaust manifolds, which even further enhanced the, the sound picture of the Scania V8, which stands out. Uh, and I'm happy to say that even though we carry the after treatment, even though it is like a chemical factory cleaning the exhausts, we still maintain the sound picture for the full truck, which we are very proud of. So, so with the 770, you're, you're not only faster up the hill, you, you're also doing it in a, with a nice sound, let's say. Absolutely, absolutely. It's the best. Okay, Jaron, the powertrain starts with the engine and it ends with the exhaust treatment system. But that's not the whole story, is it? You're right, Magnus. Actually, for most of Scania's V8 customers, this is only half of the extraordinary driving experience. Uh -huh. Right, guys? Yeah, that's completely right. Already today, the 660, the 590 and the 530 versions of the new V8 engines will be combined with this new, unique Scania gearbox. So let's have a closer look at it and see how it performs for our customers. Yeah. 
Here at Scania Research and Development, we always work at the technological forefront. But this, the first version of Scania's new gearbox range, is probably the one thing I'm most proud to have been involved in achieving. Well, what do you say? Yeah, I agree. This technical masterpiece beats everything on the market. It's strong, it's light, it's quiet, and it significantly reduces the fuel consumption for the customers. So, let's dig into the details. Okay, one of the key features of the new gearbox is the variable oil system. It allows us to cut the losses with more than 50%. So, let's have a deeper look. When you activate a valve, you fill up this tank in the top of the housing with the gearbox oil lowering the level in the gearbox and allowing the gears to spin more freely when less power is used from the engine. By turning the valve off again, the oil quickly pours back into the gearbox, increasing the cooling when the power is increased again. All right, and this spray pipe we have always sprays oil on the gears, assuring that we always have enough oil for lubrication and cooling in all driving situations. And together with the low viscosity oil and the improved gear shape, uh, this allows us to cut the gearbox losses in half. To achieve this low rev philosophy by using faster rear accelerations to lower the engine speed and thereby the fuel consumption, but without sacrificing the startability, we have designed the gearbox with a large total spread. Okay. And to be able to perform a gentle start with a heavy load in a steep hill, we have designed the crawler gear with a very slow gear ratio. And what about the cruising gears? We have equipped the gearbox with two cruising gears, one direct drive gear and one overdrive gear. And based on the current driving situations, the gearbox management system is able to calculate what's the most efficient driving gear for the moment. But what about the one of the most important gear, the reverse gears? Then we must head over to the planter gear. One thing that really makes Scania stand out from the competitors is the way we have integrated the reverse function in our planetary gear. Mm -hmm. So the idea of integrating the reverse function in the planetary gear of the range section not only allows us to remove the reverse gear row from the normal gearbox, okay. making the complete gearbox shorter, despite widening all of the gears uh, to increase the torque capacity, but it also allows us to reuse all of the forward gears also in reverse. And they can all be shifted just like when you're driving forward. So it's possible to perform a gentle start with the lowest reverse gear engaged. And then when you have reached your desired reversing speed, the engine can be kept at low speed. Mm -hmm. And this is very good because you're taking care of your clutch, but also it gives benefits because of lower fuel consumption and a lower noise level around the truck. Wow, that sounds like a really cool feature. And it sounds like it's perfect for, a, for example, a tow truck that quickly needs to reverse to the site of an accident on a narrow road. And for a construction truck that can both lower the fuel consumption and the noise impact on the work site. Which single improvement do you think is the most prominent feature for the driving experience? Well, Besides the eight reverse gears, I would like to say the new gear shift system where we have removed the synchronizers in the main and range parts of the gearbox. Mm -hmm. And this is a unique Scania feature giving the possibility for the gearbox management system to choose the optimal gear shift performance for each driving situation. And how does that affect the driver? You can, for example, use the crawler gear to start a heavy loaded vehicle in a steep hill to minimize the clutch wear letting the driver to get up the hill as quick as possible. But also for a driver who is mostly driving on highways, where the gear shifts is not as time critical, will draw benefits of the variable shift performance, since the gearbox then instead is able to perform silky smooth shifts. All right, however, uh, the greatest benefits of the new gearboxes is when we combine the engine, the gearbox and the rear acceleration in the right way to provide increased startability and significant fuel savings for the customer. We have been able to achieve that because here at Scania we develop everything in-house at the same place and together we have shown that it's possible to reach a power and torque level far exceeding everything else on the market. Amen to that. <laughs>